Thank you, Mr. Chairman, and we appreciate all of you all being here, and a special welcome to our two new members. Uh, Chairman Jenikowski, as you know, Senator Pryor and I recently sent you a letter regarding the uni universal service reform and the need for regulatory certainty as the process moves forward. Businesses, both large and small, need to be able to properly plan for the future, and there are many concerns, especially from the rural providers, uh, that they lack the necessary data and information to move forward. Uh, so in a second, I'd welcome your comments uh, regarding that. Uh, we also invited you to send a staffer to Arkansas. And uh, I, th I think that the many in rural America feel like they're being left out of the process. Arkansas is much like West Virginia. Uh, so again, we, I would also ask you to do that. Uh, but can you comment a little bit about that and, as we move forward? Sure. First of all, if, if, uh, it would be my second trip to Arkansas, and I learned a lot uh, on, my, uh, on my first trip, and I recognize uh, the challenges in rural Arkansas when it comes to broadband. Um, those challenges are all over the country, and we have 18 million Americans who live in areas that have no broadband infrastructure, including many in Arkansas. The program we inherited was sending more money than it should to certain areas, uh, funding four or five providers uh, in a single area, or fi funding uh, one company when there was an unsubsidized competitor. Uh, the reforms that we put in place are designed to uh, cut those back uh, and then finally move forward with funding broadband for unserved Americans in places like Arkansas. The transition is challenging, uh, but our focus is on achieving these goals for rural America. That's the purpose of universal service, doing it in a way that's consistent with fiscal responsibility, accountability, and you're completely right, predictability and certainty. Uh, so we're in, in some ways, the hardest part of implementation. Um, uh, we'll continue to work together uh, uh, as a group to get the balance right so that we get broadband to people who don't have it, who deserve it, uh, that we don't waste money, but that we also um, are cognizant of business realities for the companies that have been receiving funds for the program uh, and, 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 and deal with those companies in a fair, reasonable, phased-in way. Very good. Thank you. And any of you can jump in on this one. One of the, the things that all of us are hearing a lot about are the misuse of the Lifeline program. And uh, the marketing is very, very aggressive now. Uh, many Americans are concerned about uh, uh, the misuse, pr possible fraud and abuse of the Lifeline program. Uh, it, it's, it's like seeing the, the wheelchair ad on television, uh, you know, where you, you know, contact us and you'll get this free. Uh, what that does also is it really, it's, it's one of those things that destroys, it destroys trust in our institutions. So can you comment on, on reforms? I, I know that you're actively working to do that. What do we need to do to, to fix the program? Uh, we share those concerns. And a few months ago, the commission also unima unanimously adopted some strong uh, reforms to address waste, fraud, and abuse uh, in the program, tackling, for example, uh, duplicative recipients uh, when there's only supposed to be one per home, uh, tackling uh, the situation when people who aren't um, uh, entitled to get the benefit get the benefit. Uh, there is a problem with uh, sleazy, unscrupulous people who try to take advantage of the program and take advantage of the people. Uh, we're increasing our enforcement efforts, and I, I can't speak about specific investigations that we have ongoing, um, but companies out there that are taking advantage of this program, uh, uh, we will come after. Good. That's good to know. We talked about Spectrum a little bit. What short-term solutions are out there for spec Spectrum needs uh, that can be utilized while we do the longer term solutions uh, such as incentive auctions and things like that are implemented. What's on the, on the short term? Several things and some of my colleagues may um, want to comment. Uh, I agree with Commissioner McDowell that unlicensed uh, is a real opportunity. We're seeing Wi-Fi uh, uh, taking more and more of the load. Uh, that's unlicensed spectrum that the Commission issued not knowing where it would lead uh, a couple of decades ago. Uh, we're seeing advances in technology, uh, in infrastructure, uh, smaller cells being rolled out, more efficient networks. Uh, there is near-term spectrum that we can auction off if we all work uh, together. We're working closely with NTIA on, for example, the 1755 uh, spectrum. We need to accelerate those efforts, uh, move quickly. Uh, there are several uh, uh, pieces of spectrum that were identified in the legislation uh, with deadlines for auctioning them. We will auction them and we're working hard to make sure that when we auction them, we're auctioning them in the way that's most valuable 
to the public, uh, for example, finding ways to pair spectrum that otherwise would be put out unpaired. Good. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, Senator Bo